So you want to tame a raptor, do you? Well, guess what? You're going to learn. First thing you're going to need is a lot of stone. So gather as many as you can. Anytime you're playing arc, you should be getting stoned anyway. Craft yourself a bola. Three preferable. You never know when you're going to miss. Or when you're going to run into more than one. Get yourself a slingshot. Make sure you have two, preferably. Uh, with the two raptors, though, don't have two of them. Try only to have one of them. The bolas don't last long, and one of the raptors will escape. And then that would be the life. Also, make sure you have enough stone. Don't run out of stone while you're doing this, as otherwise you may not be able to knock either one of them out. The slingshot is a minimum. If you have bow and arrows, this will be a lot easier. Because you didn't collect enough stones, go back and collect more stones now that you failed. You may also need to run for your life as that raptor is going to be hot on your ass. Once you've collected enough stone, turn around, repeat the process, and then watch as the dealer comes up and runs everything. Take a block of C4 and stick it to its face. Blow it up. Problem solved. Now run a long distance and look for another raptor. Realize that there will be no more raptors now that you're looking for one. This is art, and it likes to screw you, and so you're not going to find one. During your travels, if you run across any gaps, just walk across it. You, oh, wait, you can't do this? Only me. Oh. Keep adventuring around the island until you find one. Still have found none, and then realize you're back where you started. You've just made a complete circuit. You find one, prep the bola. Then prep the slingshot. And start pelting it in the face. Pelt it till it goes down. It may look a little bloody, but just remember this is a raptor. It's not worth that much. If you do happen to kill it, then he wasn't really worth it in the first place since he did not have much health. Once again, start collecting those bushes. You're gonna need those narco berries. Now he won't eat the other berries. You'll have to actually go collect meat this time. Find a corpse and make one, preferably something large with the uh, prime meat in it, but anything will work. Since this is our first kind of Christina, the order in which they eat food is cooked meat, raw meat, cooked prime, prime, mutton, and then kibble. In that order, quality lowest to highest. While your fists are fine, if you really want quality meat, well we did get some from our fists, you'll need a tool, a pick preferably, and also a good dino that does actually provide quality meat, such as this dead Bronto here. The Prime is not only going to speed up the taming process, but also give us better results. This is the first dino you really want to saddle for. Not only to ride it, but you also do want a protection for the dino. Saddles actually do provide some protection and reduce the damage they take. If you're not high enough level, power up. Like this. What? Can't do that either? You guys are killing me. Once it's up, ride it, enjoy it, because it's going to be dead tomorrow.